Hey guys, Neil Bryan here, back for another Let's Play of West of Loathing. Uh, hope this video finds you guys well today, you incredible people out there. Uh, what do I have in my pack that's new? Let's look at that. It's been a while. A couple of weeks since I've got on this game, so... Uh, last episode, I freed the train. I remember that, and that opened up this. So let's let's go check out the Big Apple, cause that's new. Lost go, lost Dutch oven mine. That's not a good place. We shouldn't visit there. Let's go to the Big Apple. We'll check out a couple of these new places before we try heading on down. Your transponder gizmo bleeps, and you follow the bleeps to one of those weird El Vibrato machines tromping around in the desert. Fortunately, it either hasn't noticed you or doesn't care. Let's attack it. Because I'm a douche. I like it when they whiff. All right, let's attack. Um, I think I need some reassurance. Woohoo! Boy, that machine doesn't like that guy. Noise. Reassure me again. Yeah, he's just a whisker. He really doesn't like him. All right, um, he can probably finish it off. Let's let's go ahead and bash. He's almost dead. Skadoosh! Actually, he did more damage than I did two of my three hits. I right, got some El Vibrato scraps. Hooray! Onto the Big Apple. As you reach the center of the clearing, you are simultaneously struck with a profound awe and a terrible stench as you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. I didn't even know there was such a thing as a road apple. Uh, you can't even imagine how this got here. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal sized horses acting collaboratively? They, they should have sent a poet. Yeah, yeah they should have. Okay, so looks like some apples. Doesn't smell any better, let's clean it up. Uh, okay, keep digging, keep digging. Come on. I'm just gonna keep digging here. Slapping that E key. Uh, there we go. Um, all right. I don't know what the purpose of that was. And I think that's all that's here. Is it? Let's look around, find the trees maybe? Okay, so maybe that was a uh, mission of some kind. I don't know, but I cleaned up the apples. All right. What do I have that's new? It keeps saying new. I don't want it to say new anymore. Stop it. There we go. That's better. All right, so we cleaned up the big apple. All right, do we dare go to the Dutch oven mine? Let's see, is there anything else new? This is a big, empty space. It seems like there should be something in this big space. Okay, let's go to the Lost Dutch Oven Mine. We'll just explore. Uh, your El Vibrato transponder thingy starts bleeping at you and you play hot and cold with it until you find a weird looking crate hidden behind some rocks. Yay! Look, we got El Vibrato scraps. Okay, so that's obviously what we have is new is our El Vibrato. What does that do? There's a piece of thick paper with a few square holes punched in it. It looks like the ones they used for the census back in 90. All right. All right, what we got here? That's a pretty tree. Gin blossoms. I don't have the skill to harvest. All right, why is the ground steaming? Uh, let's walk into it and see what happens. Uh, wow, those are some stinky fissures. I can't get any closer now without some stench resistance at least. I don't think I have any stench resistance. Let's see if there's any food that might give me stench resistance. Um, isn't that food? Sulfur match? Nope, that deals damage. Bourbon? 
Increases maximum hit points. Blood sausage, muscle, lalepa. I don't know why that would help with stench damage. Okay, so it looks like I don't really have anything that gives me stench resistance. Do I not have any any skills? How, do I, how would I use skills? Go to my character. Skills. Tough customer. What's this? Okay, these are... I think these are always on skills. These are my stats. Combat skills. These are my perks. Yep. Goblin tongue. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I didn't want to explore the Dutch oven lost mine anyway. So let's uh, let's go to the railroad camp. Let's see what we freed them to. As you're heading down the dusty desert trail, you sense an extremely powerful, extremely malicious cow presence nearby. That's not good, but I'm a cow puncher. Uh, you track it to a nearby source and you discover a new map location, Hellstrom Ranch. Let's go there now. This is me riding a horse. It always wiggles my right shoulder. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, so I think he's got to use crazy eyes. Pete's got to use the bathroom. Let's go tell him to go potty. Go use the bathroom. Go, dude. Uh, what's happening, Pete? Say, there's a mine ain't far from here. What I bet you'd like to see. What do you mean? Is there something strange about it? Ah, uh, yep. That's a weird word. I ain't gonna spoil it though. Hee! You discover a new map location, soup stock load. All right. Um, yeah, sure. Let's um, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Uh, what do you think we should do next? Well, if you can't step. Think of nothing else to do, we can head over to Smee's new rail camp and see if we've got any problems need solving. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, okay, so this looks like a fissure. It's a portal to hell. You hear ominous mooing. Okay, that's weird. It actually changes side to side in my headphones. It's very ominous. All right, what we got here? The only part of the shed that didn't burn was the part this horseshoe was attached to. Guess it really is lucky. Heck yeah! Can I, like, equip it? Well, this just gives plus pistol attack damage. So... Okay. Alright, Groovy. I might use my pistol next and see what happens. Alright, what else is here? No. Nope. I think without having missions, going to these places is kind of pointless. Hey, let's see what happens here. Oh. It's a floating cow skull. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. One hit point of damage. 37 hit. This might have been a bad fight for me to get into. Yeah, I'm not doing any damage. Now I'm angry. See that? I mean, I told you I was gonna, I was gonna be angry. I'm angry. Okay. So, um, I'm not gonna try that fight again because I don't even know if there was a purpose to it. Can I go in the barn? Oh, I can. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's a haystack. Goody. Goody. Got a needle. Can I go through the rest of it? Huh? Hey, I'm dancing. Band, 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 dancing like a white guy. Okay, what's over here? Yes, a burned leatherworking manual. That could be handy. All right, what's over here? I got it, didn't I? Okay, pretty sure I did. What's this? You lack the proper leatherworking expertise to use these tools. Oh, that's a bummer. Let's see if I can gain some leatherworking expertise. Uh, leatherworking manual. Let's read it. And now I got some skills. And I got some leather. Okay. All right, now let's uh, let's see if we can work it. Make something out of the thick leather. That's right, baby. I'm gonna make something. Oh, okay. I got some options here. 
Okay, so muscle, muscle and armor, that could be nice. Uh, boots, do some stomp damage. Uh, disabling com, oh, disabling, that's, that could be handy. Nail gloves. Uh, I don't know, let's not make anything, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at what I'm wearing. See what I need. Leave the, leave the bench. All right, um, no, I didn't want that. I want this. All right, I'm wearing goblin trousers, which gives me plus three armor, minus two moxie, which is kind of lousy. Um, that was that was a trousers. What else was it? A shirt or a hat? Plus two armor on the hat. I think pants is what I really need. Yeah, hat, pants. Yeah, pants. Let's go with pants. It took me a while to get pants, if you remember. I was running around pantless for a long time. Can I do anything else? Oh, I can! Uh, let's go and make a hat, too. Nice. Okay, so I need more thick leather. Need to punch me some cows. Punch me some cows! Alright, so let's, uh, let's put on the thick leather hat. Hey, that looks nice. Now let's uh, look at the pants. Let's put on some thick leather pants. It's a lot better than these... Goblin trousers. All right, I like it. I am better now. So that was worthwhile coming here. Should I try taking me in now that I got these fancy leather duds? Let's see if we can kill an infernal cow. Don't kill him. Ah. Okay, that's all right. Oh, I only do one. I got it. I got to be. Oh, I did twelve. And he did 32. And judging by this, I got about six more 12s to go, which is going to be math. Can I just run away? Is that an option? Yes, right here. I surrender. I have four action points. Is that... is that good? Ha! <laughs> ha! Wait for the white flag. That's pretty funny. Defeat. Oh, and I still got angry. You get so angry about losing that fight, you pass out! Dang it. Alright. Whatever. Crazy Eye Pete, where'd he go? Hey, why are you hiding in the corner, Crazy Eye? Hey, what's here? Yes, I want to insult myself. Uh, maybe I shouldn't keep doing that. Let's keep doing it, because it's funny. You call yourself a vulture loving possum loving jerk. I actually killed a possum this morning, and he was killing my chickens and eating their eggs, so before you get all indignant PETA people. Um, you better not insult yourself anymore, you get angry, you'll have to pass out. I want to pass out! I want to pass out, yes! You, huh? Alright. Alright, what we did, we, we found there was a mine. Soup stock load, let's go to soup stock load. But what happens on the way? because something always happens on the way. As you're riding along, you notice a side trail leading towards that gigantic cemetery. You jot down the location. Reboot Hill. Now, let's, let's keep going to the load stock. Okay, so here we are. Crazy Eye Pete. I don't really want to talk Crazy Eye Pete. Yes, let's dig through that. Yes, I love my meat nugget. Okay, anything in here? Yeah, search them. Groovy. Can I search it again? No, okay. I look behind it. Pick the lock. I've got... Oh, I need more lock, more lock picking skills. Okay. I like how the shadows move in this. It's a pool of boiling soup. Yes, grab it. Oh. A lot of boiling soup here. Okay. What's in here? Spider? Nope. Elevator room. All right. What's in here? Search it. A cultist mask. What does it do? This is one of those spooky white masks. The cultists. Uh, one of the one of those spooky white masks. The cultists keep running into the mine in the mines. Where? I don't think I've seen them yet. Um, where would it go? Can I wear it? Okay, I don't really care about the mysticality. I'm not a magic user. I don't need mysticism. What is this? It's just stuff. They left in a hurry. 
Yeah, let's fix the elevator. And I need a wrench. I don't have a wrench. I don't have anything. No, just give me a cross here. Alright, get out. Why did you send me here, Pete? Stupid crazy eye. Alright, let's go on to the... No. Not the backpack. Go to the map. Yeah, let's go here. We need we need a mission. All right, what is he saying? Hmm, you know, this spot looks a mite familiar. I think I came this way when I spent those months wa kind of wandering around in the daze. When you what? No, nah, that's for another... That's story for another time. Per sure, I carved my initials in one of those rocks. Though, haha. <laughs> you should see a boulder... Oh, you sh she shows you a boulder with OP chiseled onto the side of it. Your initials are OP? What do they stand for? OP! Of course. Uh, Pete has grown stronger. Okay, uh, that's cool. He needs to, because that infernal cow killed him quick. Ah, the great Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. I didn't even hitch a ride on the railroad. You realize that? It like went and I had to ride on my horse. Alright, what's this? Oh, they're complaining. Okay, he's sleeping. What's he doing? This guy has stopped messing with his watch and started eating jelly beans. Okay. Uh, what you got there? Jelly beans? Uh, yep. Can I have one? Nope. Please? Nope. Get your own. Uh, where'd you get them? Hello, way south of here from a fellow named Roy Bean. You discover a new map location. Roy Bean's house of justice and jelly beans. I like justice. Yep, skating right over you. Hey, homie. Howdy, boss. Howdy, Smee. Stuck again? Yep. Got ourselves one heck of a canyon to get across and no materials for bridge building. Any ideas? There's an old mine, uh, old mine town up north called Breadwood. They opened a lumber camp after the mines dried up. If you can fix a deal with them for lumber we need, I can handle the engineering side of things. Oh, look. A new map location. All right. Let's see what I can do. What's this? I want to look. Use it. I lost five meat. Alright, um, it's a big canyon. Sure is big. It'll take quite a bridge to get across that thing, that's for sure. Uh, yep. Alright. Can't go too far in that direction. You'll fall off the cliff. I want to fall off the cliff. Alright. Alright, where I gotta go? Breadwood. Let's go to Breadwood. See if we can help this railroad. Uh, oh, goody. More El Vibrato bits. What were you doing, Pete? Where'd you go? Okay, that's a lot of, of damage he just did to me. And I disapprove of that. That wasn't a lot of damage I did to him. Um, Alright, maybe he can reassure me enough that... Ooh, plus five. That's nice, because he's more powerful. Yay. Alright. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have insulted myself so much. Let's let's go back to breadwood. Bread, breadwood, bread. I love the word bread. I love bread. Oh, look, the whole map on one one screen. Uh, you notice no crate. Uh, open it. I don't have a crowbar. Maybe I should buy a crowbar. Ah, look at that. Made it right in here. All right, he wants to talk again, or he's got to pee. It looks like a pee pee dance. Uh, what's happened to Pete? The old Joan Deck mines around these parts somewhere. I don't know much about it, but I heard they had some kind of accident a while back. Hmm. Might be worth checking out. Never know. It's gonna go on a map. If it's on a map, we can check it out. Uh, I don't know. I didn't want to ask him that. Oh, Pete reminds you that you promised a guy at the Lazy A Dude Ranch that you'd get him an old military style cap at Fort All Dead. Okay, so I need to go back to the Dude Ranch. Because I think I have that already. Maybe I should do that now and then come back. Nah. Eh. Yeah, let's fight it. I don't like to give up idea. Ew. Well, at least he didn't do a whole lot of damage. Burn a skeleton! See, he's doing more damage than I am. I wish I had a reassure. Go, Pete, go! 
think he's hitting him with that umbrella. I think it's an umbrella. Bye-bye. All right, skull chips. Those are always handy. Never know when you're going to need some skull chips. I don't think that's the guy. I'm um, sure. Never know, you might need an herbal remedy. Oh, I didn't! Ah, okay. I don't think I want his hat. I like my hat. I made my hat. I made it out of leather. Uh, let, let's see if we can finish this one up. Get this guy a hat. Let's get this guy a hat. I feel bad. I already did this adventure, but apparently I missed a hat. But I do get to flush the toilets again, and that's fun. Come on. Flush it. I won't flush the toilet. I won't flush the toilet. Why can't I flush the toilet? I guess because I already flushed them. Yeah, I know it. I know it's missing. I see it's missing. I thought I flushed it. Oh well. Maybe you can only flush it once. Um, is there something that says supplies, maybe? Ooh, a trash can. There's good stuff in a trash can. Ah, dang it. I need some sense resistance. What about this? What got here? Look inside. A cryptic note about ley lines. Wow, that's fascinating. There is also an evil-looking leather-bound tome. Fundamentals of Nexmax. Okay. Let's go ahead and read it. Seems to have been written by one of the necromancer cultists. He and several others were reanimating the dead soldiers here on the theory the best undead army would be a literal undead army. The hitch to the plan came and they raised the officers who decided they weren't going to take orders from a bunch of weirdo civilians. The last entry suggests the author and his cohorts were planning on abandoning their station and reporting back to the necromancer, but the entry ends abruptly in the middle of a sentence. Wow, that is fascinating. Oh yeah, here. There's no name on the stone. There's no name on the stone. There's no name on the stone. Uh, okay, can't harvest that. What is this? This mass grave is absolutely teeming with those skeletal riflemen. They don't seem to be interested in getting out, but you could definitely jump in if you're itching for a fight. Hey, why not? I mean, I came here to fight. Actually, I came here to get a hat. And he's not wearing a hat, so this might not help. Do I get a hat? Nope, but I get a silver bullet. Got a silver bullet! Uh, okay, I can do it again, but I don't think I want to. Alright, so I'm not finding hats. Um, maybe in one of these. This one only contains important military air. Okay. But over here. I've already opened all these, haven't I? I have. There's a door here, where does it go? Oh yeah, I've been in here. Alright, where's the hat? Let's get out of here. Uh, I went through there. Am I here? What is this? There's no force in the universe that can get this tarp off of this crate, okay. These crates are just decorative. What am I here? There's another one. Come on. No? Okay. So, maybe there's a hat in here if I have stench resistance, which I do not. Alright, I guess I can't get that guy a hat. Can I, can I get one of these guys' hats? How about your hat? Can I get your hat? Uh, is there maybe a hat up here? Alright. Alright, so there's no hats, right? I do not have a hat. Fail! Okay, I'm out of here. I'm getting tired of this one. Alright, well, what was I going to do over here? Oh, alright, I was going to do breadwood. Got to find some wood. I wonder what Alan Cows are on the way. Uh, okay. Crazy eye Pete. Pete bends over and picks something up. Well, look at here, a little rock scorpion. Did you just pick up a scorpion? Nah, nah, not a for real scorpion. These are rocks, what naturally erode into the shape of scorpions. Oh, okay. Also, they wiggle like scorpions. Don't rightly know how that works. 
Pete puts the scorpion rock in his backpack. Pete has grown stronger. Yay! You know the town's gone to pot when the horses are drunk. I was wondering why that horse would wander around on his hind legs. Seems like a drunk horse stumbling on hind legs would be a bad idea. Okay, let's go look at what problems they have. Uh, you read the list of Breadwood's problem. Missing mail, overdue books, stall, stalled logging permit, uh, soup shortage, skeletons everywhere, missing yeast, and robbed bread bank. Okay, and there's a note at the bottom. Last time a mayor let this list get over three items, we chased him out of town with his breadstick nailed to the top of his head. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be the mayor. Howdy, mayor. I'm Shepard Nairbone, here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut a deal with you for lumber. That makes a lot of sense. I think I worded that perfectly. All right. I believe we can scrape together that much wood. What sort of down payment you offering? Oh, uh, I sort of expected you would just bill us. You want that much lumber for no payment up front? Are you serious? I could probably offer you free train rides. Boom, I'm thinking. I do enjoy a nice train ride, but that deal would be a real problem. I've already got seven problems to worry about. Oh, no, I saw them. I'm, I'm not, oh, I read it. Uh, Mayor glanced at the list of problems posted on the wall and paced around nervously. Uh, ugh, really? I don't want to help with his problems. Okay, maybe I can help with some of your problems. Oh, thank you. I certainly will welcome any assistance you can offer. Look at the problems board. I already did. All right. Um, missing mail, overdue book, logging permit, soup shortage, skeleton raids, stolen yeast, or missing bread. I don't know that it matters. So let's do number one. Missing mail. Um, our last batch of mail never got here. We don't know if something happened to the mailman or what. Go talk to Reginald in the bunkhouse. He used to be a mailman, so he can tell you where to start your search. All right, go to the bunkhouse. The buttery biscuit. I like buttery biscuits. Here's the bunkhouse. Reginald! Which one's Reginald? Gotta be a guy with a beard. Um, no, he seems focused on beard growing. I wouldn't mind growing a beard. Uh, who the focaccia are you? Name's Shepard Nairbone. The mayor's got me investigating some missing mail. Said you could give me a line on where to start looking. Oh, that is Reginald. Okay. Um, oh, that's what I said at the beginning. Oh, yeah, all right. I gave up being a mailman a couple of years ago, but I doubt they've changed the system much. All the mail headed here used to go through my way station just southeast of here. I'll mark, mark it on your map. A new map location? You discovered a new map location. Yeah, okay, let's let's go do it. Where's it at? Postal Way Station. No way. Yeah, I think I'll just leave that alone because I don't have a crowbar. Here we go. Postal Way Station. Let's go in. Uh, yeah, let's trespass. What's the worst going to happen? You in a fight? Why do they got a porta potty inside? Or an outhouse, I guess it would be. You don't even want to know what bureaucratic processes were involved in the placement of this outhouse. Actually, I do. Uh, big map of the whole region, lots of confusing little annotations. What we got here? Old newspapers. Uh, letter to Roy Bean. That might be handy because I'm going to go see him about some jelly beans. What we got here? Uh, blank postcard. I don't know if I want to send one, maybe. Somebody has removed all the funnies, so there's literally no reason to care about them. Agreed. Let's go through these. There's an article about how they had to change the name of Boot Hill Cemetery to Reboot Hill Cemetery because of all the skeletons in there coming back to life. Well, okay, now I know it's not about computers. This cabinet's full of maps, but you have no idea what any of them mean. Maybe you could ask about it at the post office in Dirtwater. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, man, okay, so it's all going to say the same thing. So I guess I got to go to the post office in Dirtwater, right? Let me make sure there's nothing else out here. Nope, that's it. All right, let's go to dirt water, which is way back over here. All right, way back over here. That's going to be a long journey. This might take a while. What's this? You find a crate lying by the side of the road. It's lid knocked off. It has fell off the face of a cart LTD, stenciled on the side, which seems a bit on the nose. But hey, on the nose, free stuff is free stuff. Yeah, why not? Uh, you fish through the crate and help yourself to meager but free contents. Ranch Punch 
at Depressed Ranch Candy. Alright. Is Ranch Punch like punch made out of ranch dressing? Alright, here we go. Um, kind of forgot what I'm looking for. Post office? Yeah, post office. Post of ice. Let's, uh, let's go talk to him about the maps. Hey, I need some help tracking down some missing mail. How do you mean? A mail delivery truck went missing on the way to Breadwood, and I'm hunting on I'm hunting it on behalf of their mayor. The local mail station has a bunch of route maps, but I don't know which one I need. Hmm, well, that information ain't exactly a secret, but I ain't supposed to give it out either. A delivery going missing is bad news, though I suppose it's all right. This just once. Wait here a sec. Wow, he just talked himself right into it. Uh, after a couple of minutes, she comes back. Oh, she. Sorry. She comes back with a sheet of note paper. Okay, so each map has a code number on it, you see? Based on region and direction of travel. <laughs> I'm a girl. Uh, she explains how to work out the code you need and gives you a cheat sheet for reference. Excellent. So, postal code cheat sheet. This should help you find the right map. Oh, okay, so I gotta go back to this sent up way up. Okay, let's just make it smaller. Uh, to the postal way station. There we go. And what happens on the way, bud? You cross paths with Wander and Sally again. Howdy, Shepler. Interested in trading? Uh, why not? I need a crowbar. Wow, couldn't you have just opened up the trade window? You actually had to take. You had to take me somewhere? Uh, okay, no crowbars. Uh, I already have a blank postcard. Do I need any of these things? Let's see, do I have a, a pickaxe? Because I can see where that might be handy. Gosh, I got a lot of stuff. I wonder if I should sell some of my stuff. She doesn't give much is the only thing. Artillery saber, that might be a really handy weapon. Bean stained pants. I don't guess so. I don't mess this right now, but I am going to look up that weapon because... Artillery Saber, what does it do? Plus six pistol at- wait. Isn't that what the Lucky Horseshoe did? Yeah. Um. Okay, so now I got plus 12 pistol damage. Right? Do I get any better pistols? No, that's the only pistol I got. Alright, well, that's- that's groovy. Let's move on now to the waste- uh, station. There we go. Something happened after something happened on the way to... Okay. As Tina carefully navigates, that's my hoss. A bunch of weird rock formations, everything suddenly goes silent. Shh. Oh, the music kept playing. Uh, everything except the racing of your pulse, that is, because you stumbled across a whole horrifying ungulith. Yes. Let's fight that. That doesn't look... Holy moly! That's a bad thing. Alright, let's see what happens. That literally did nothing. That's... That would break your thing, man. I'm just saying. Yep. Didn't win that fight. And I'm... And I... Really? Oh my gosh. Oh, good, good. I got to finish getting the way station. That's good. Yep. Let's trespass. Let's go up here. Go through them. Alright, you use the cheat sheet to find the route map that leads to Breadwood. Let's follow the map. Chuck's house. Alright, let's go to Chuck's house. Hmm, something about this house makes you suspicious. You're not, you can't quite put your finger on it. The place looks perfectly normal after all, but you can't shake the feeling there's something very wrong going on here. Maybe you're just being paranoid. Yep, let's look around. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Why is there a... Probably just one of those bird feeders where you hang up a ball of suet and the seeds and, with this, and seeds and stuff, except the birds ate it all, and it's just the, you know, the rope. Yep. All right, can I go in the cellar? That'd be, that'd be groovy. I wanna go in the cellar. The cellar door. Man, I bet it's all kinds of horror down there, like some kind of medieval torture dungeon. It's locked, but it is locked to keep you out or to keep something in. Whoa, it's a plot co lock. These things are unpickable. All right, uh, we'll just go in the door. Knock. Hello? 
You knock on the door, a voice inside says, Come in, it's open. It's always open. All right, that's kind of odd. The door creaks open and you step inside the house. The interior is an absolute nightmare. The walls are covered with rusty chains and hooks, as well as a variety of wicked looking knives and shears. A man of indeterminate age and slightly hunched posture grins widely as you enter, his eyes gleaming. He's standing near a large puddle of blood on the floor. I'm expecting him to be like a really nice guy now. Hello, uh, my name is Chuck. Welcome to my little blood and breakfast. Your what? Blood and breakfast. Oh, sorry, I have a lisp. A lisp? Yes, it makes lewd sound like lewd. A uh, bed and breakfast. I see. People also tell me I emphasize words oddly, but I don't get all that. Uh huh. Um, okay, so. Uh, talk to him again. Chuck is staring at you. You notice that his left eye has a tendency to drift sideways as he, as he stares at you, then reset when he blinks, which is not often enough. I'm used to crazy eye. Uh, excuse me? Yes, how can I help you? Uh, you said you're running a bed and breakfast here? That is what I slewed. Yes. All right, so could I have guest room? What's on the menu? Has mail been by recently? That's what I want to know. Well, I guess my last guest was a mailman. Such a nice fellow. It's a shame he's no longer with us. I hope you mean he just left. I like to think he'll always be here in spirit. Um, I don't want a guest room and I don't want to know what's on the menu. I, I just want to figure out where the mail went. Fine. Could I have a guest room? It's in the cellar, but I'm afraid it's unavailable at the moment. My last guest has only just checked out and I still need to clean up the mess. Alright, what's on the menu? Homemade sausage and tomato soup. I also have a special tea blend that's a real knockout. Alright. Where is this going? A long pork sausages, my grandfather's own recipe. Did you say long pork? That's right, I make them longer than regular pork sausages. They're more filling that way. This is puzzling and uncomfortable for many different reasons. You mentioned a special tea blend? Yes, a special herbal blend that puts my guests right to sleep. It's very effective. All right, uh, let's explore. Yeah, let's check about his knives. Aha, you noticed my collection. Yeah, it's uh, dramatic. It belonged to my father and his father before him. They were butchers. And you? Haha, <laughs> I, I do a little bit, but not professionally. I broke with family tradition to run my little blood and breakfast. All right, what's over here? Sorry, that's private. That's my blood room. Your what? My blood room. My bedroom. All right, gotcha. Doesn't look like a bedroom. Oh, I hit the door, that's why. Uh, there's nothing very unusual, but you do notice the jars of teas, teas labeled Sleepy Time and Earl Grape. You surreptitiously swap the labels. Chuck doesn't seem to have noticed. Okay, yeah, that, that was definitely his bedroom. All right, now let's see if I can make get him to make me some tea. Um, yeah. Yeah, unavailable. It's on the menu, we've done this. Sausages, long pork. Uh, okay, I've done all these. Okay, here we go. Oh, that reminds me, I left the kettle on. The water should be boiled by now. Would you care for a cup of tea? No thanks, I'm good. Chuck pours himself a cup of tea and sips it while staring at you. After a bit, he starts to look drowsy. Oh my, I'm coming all over my sleepy. Perhaps I should get my hood down for a few minutes. It's been a long day, please excuse me. Um, okay. Yeah, now that he's sleeping. Creepy bedroom. And I'm actually like sneaking, that's funny. I don't think that was a crazy, crazy walk. 
Going through Chuck's drawers seems like maybe not a good idea. There is a key on top of the dresser. Yoink! Got Chuck's key. Okay, is that it? Can I? No. Can I walk by Chuck? Chuck's sleeping pretty soundly, but you should be careful not to wake him anyway, really? What if I get up here? Can I get behind him? Oh yeah, look at me, I'm sneaking around Chuck. Okay, let's sneak out. Okay, let's see if we can open this. Enter, go in. Hmm, doesn't look nearly as horrific down here as you expected, unless you're particularly horrified by an unmade bed. Alright, what's in here? Uh, nothing there. Bookshelves are good. See if there's anything good. Well, look at this. Advanced cow punch and locks how to pick them and intermediate next max. Yes. I'll have to read those later. That bed's not unmade. You crazy game. Uh, there's a blank postcard. Groovy. Uh, oh, looky. What's this? Looks like the missing bag of mail. Yes. Okay. So let's go back to Breadwood and knock this off the to-do list. And look, oh, a new location. No. It's nice that the game has so much content. As you ride in town, a mailman approaches you. Oh man, thank goodness you found my mail. This mailbag is yours? Yeah, I've been stressed out lately, so I took a day off and rented a room over at Chuck's as a sort of mini vacation. He's such a great guy, a little weird, I guess, but real personable, and his cooking is great. The tomato soup and those great big sausages, his tea did wonders for my insomnia, too. Yeah, it did seem pretty effective. Anyway, I forgot my mail bag and wasn't sure where I left it, so I've been retracing my steps for ages. Thanks for finding it. Sure, no problem. Here you go. Madman Man walks away with a big bag over his shoulder, whistling a cheerful tune. All right. And that's that. We have found Breadwood's lost mail. So I guess next time we're going to have to do another thing on the to-do list. Um... Yeah. Plenty of content. Yay! Alright, you guys are awesome and incredible. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of West of Loathing. And until next time, bye bye